Well lads, what's the crack? My name is RJ Runner and welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered Part 21 which ideally should be the last part in the series so that means The Last of Us Part 2 will be coming up practically straight after this. I won't say I'll have a second upload straight after this on the same day because I've been promising that for ages but it has never come to fruition but I will try to do two uploads a day starting from Sunday maybe but I can't guarantee because I might be working Sunday I don't know yet but definitely from next week I will try and start a proper recording block is what I've been told I should do because uh, my main problem is I go to bed way too late I don't get up till the afternoon and I don't start recording till about maybe three or four o'clock and then I might Stick around even after that, play a few games of Dead by Day Daylight, Overwatch, and then trying to edit in between. But that's a very bad habit. I should just do my recordings, get straight into the editing, and be done with it. So that's what I'm going to try and do from now on. Because, like, I do want to try and grow this channel a small bit, even though I know I'm not getting any views, a lot of views, hardly. Um, it's still a little passion project, and I should put more effort into it. Anyway! Back into the main nitty gritty of things, so this should be the last part. Like, like I say, we're in the hospital, we're trying to rescue Ellie, and we have to try and be very sneaky about it. Oh my god, supplies! What do you have over here? Don't, 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 don't come in here, don't come in here. Okay, how many am I dealing with? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 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 yeah. What? Oh, damn it. We got a man down. The smugglers escaped. Locate the target and eliminate him. We'll search the other floor. Yes, sir. Search the floor. Find that smuggler and shoot him on sight. I'd prefer if you didn't do that. I mean, I'm all for live and let live. But I guess if you have to shoot me, you have to shoot me. <gasps> oh, that was close. <gasps> Yo, didn't see a damn thing. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <gasps> okay, um, I got insanely lucky that time. I mean, they know what's up, they heard him scream, but they don't know where oh but do know where I am, do you know where I am? Um shit. Oh god. Oh help me Mary. Not a good start. Not a good start at all. And yes, I did just adjust my microphone. Because it was bothering me, because I may have a bit of OCD. If things aren't a certain way, it just really triggers me. Okay. I can definitely sneak up on this guy. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. Hey, buddy, come here. Come here. Strangle time. Yeah, this is not like it. I'm gonna save my little girl, and there's nothing you can do about it. You like my gruff voice? I think it's very fitting. Oh, more supplies. I almost missed these. Whoa! Okay, these guys I definitely have to take head on. Unless, unless. Come on, buddy boy. You gotta come out this way. Ooh, Molly. Ooh, Don't come this way. Don't hop. Don't hop over the window. Don't hop over the window. Oh, oh shit, oh god, oh god, oh god. I've been made! Okay, okay, hang 
I'm good. I'm good. We're good. We're good. I'm just a li little wounded. I'm still okay. I'm still okay. Okay, let's let's be very careful from here on out. I mean, more careful than I've already been, which is not very. I'm gonna get you. Shh, 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 shh. Let you get some girl. Oh, that's what you think. Letting me and stopping me are are two different things. Are not letting me, I should say. Yeah, you get the same job. Grab. Oh, well, I should, because I show no mercy, especially when it comes to my little girl. There we go. Rest in pepperoni. Oh, are you going to do the same thing? Are you going to waddle down here as well? By all means, do. What? Are these guys constantly respawning or something? Because I swear to God, there should be at least one or two less. And again, I never really was good at counting. Okay. Okay, both areas are pretty tight. Um, I mean, I suppose I could toss a brick somewhere. Uh, yeah, if I toss, toss a brick over here, that should distract him. Yoink! Oh! Like, what's the point of that? There wasn't any point. Okay. Come on, come on. Use your math, Robbie. Use your math. You can do this. God, I, I hate this. I freaking hate the pro. There's two quite near each other, and they're preoccupied staring down that way. So if I just go, yoink! Okay, that worked out nicely. And there's another guy waiting for me there. I think I think I've uh, whittled him down to three. Where'd the soldier boy go? He, he, there's one guy there. Where'd he run off to? Whoa. One, two. Where the hell is the third? Ah, there you are. You're being sneaky. Whoa! Ho 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 ho! Holy smokes! Yoink! Okay. Oh, assault rifle! Yes! Now we're going to do some damage. Okay. Again, he suspects nothing. Not a damn thing. Yeah, yeah, we're being really sneaky now. 
Oh Jesus. No, never mind. I'm going in loud. Okay. You can try and surround me. I've already taken out like fucking what? Ten of you? Do your worst. Woohoo boy! Fan out. <laughs> you fanned out a little too late. And now the only thing you're fanning is the flames of my Molotov. Okay, I don't think you can see me. Get it? No. He doesn't know I'm here. Oh, he does! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh god. Okay. Alright. Keep calm. Can I get him from here? Oh yeah, bollocks. One dude there. Would you fuck off? What the hell? Of course you don't like it. I'm picking you off one by one. You have no idea what's going on. Oh. Nice. Okay, I guess I should... Patch myself up a small bit. There we go. Okay, give me that. Give me my arrow back. Where is my assault rifle? Aha, here it is. Oh boy, you have no idea what's coming your way. As I mentioned before, fear of the unknown. And you shouldn't like it. Because it seems you're the only guy left standing, but not for long. Grab. And that should be the last of you guys. Didn't drop anything nice for me. No, of course not. You're not that generous. Okay, so what else do we have going on here? We got more supplies. Can we craft anything? We can craft another smoke bomb. But to be honest, I don't think I need to craft one because I haven't. Oh, there's one more dude left. Okay, like I said, I never claim to be good at math. It's the counting part that gets me. Oh boy. Boogie, boogie, boogie! <gasps> okay, now that should be all of you. Okay, take whatever I can get here. Uh, just explore some of the rooms. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, I shouldn't think I'd need another shiv, so I'll just craft one of these. There, because that'll be more handy. If I happen to get more blades, I'll craft another shiv. Okay, there's someone else around now. I think I've scavenged this place dry nearly enough. I mean, I know I haven't checked every room, but still, it doesn't look like an area where there would be lots to pick up. And again, I'm at the end of the game practically, so 
this is more or less my final stand, so there's not a lot of supplies I need. But of course, a lot of this will be cut out. Okay, moving on up. I mean, I definitely need to craft another Molotov at least. Oh, oh. Speak of the devil. Whoa. Okay, see you, boys. You saw nothing. Son of a bitch just shot me. Yeah, just want to be sure that these guys aren't coming back up anytime soon. No, they aren't. Again, just scrounge around here for some supplies. I okay, surely have enough to make another vault up now. I should do. Yes. Uh, I'll make another one. Or should I make it mega? No, another malt off. And another shiv. God, I got a shit ton of supplies now. Okay, so you just know that the game is going to get a little bit harder. And again, just do some more exploring pills. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I need that bottle. Just in case I need to make a distraction. Or create a distraction, I should say. Um, can I upgrade anything? No, I can't. don't have near enough pills. I obviously missed an ass of pills earlier on in the game. That's using your noggin, Joel. Yeah, they won't be breaking through that anytime soon. At least I hope they won't. Because I want to do some sport. Oh, but just in case, I best keep moving. Go, 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 go! Okay, be careful. As much as I'd love to do this thing by going in guns blazing, oh, sorry, just record, I want to listen to this. April 28th. Marlene was right. The girl's infection is like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal key in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines. And an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of regression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this data under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference, and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain. Okay, I barely got any of that. But from what I gather is they want to sort of recreate the symptoms of what Ellie has. They don't want her to be the only end-all, cure-all of the whole fungus plague parasite thing. So they want more than one test subject. More or less. Oh, Marlene's recording. Okay, cool. Uh, listen to this as well, see if we can get a bit more information out of it. It's 5.30 p.m. on April 28th. I just finished speaking, 
More like yelling at our head surgeon. Apparently, there's no way to extricate the parasite without eliminating the host. Fancy way of saying you gotta kill the fucking kid. And now they're asking for my go-ahead. The tests keep getting harder and harder, don't they? I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. And I just want this to end. So it seems Marlene also struggled with coming to the decision to sacrifice Ellie, but in the end, it is a decision she has made. Joel, not not so much. He he doesn't want it to be that way because Ellie, like he said before, is more or less his daughter now, his stepdaughter, his adopted daughter, and of course he doesn't want to lose her. And I can respect that, so he, he wants to put his daughter before humanity, and more or less uh, himself before humanity. You can say it's a noble cause, but... Uh, at the go. same time, it's kind of a selfish thing to do as well. It's uh, It'd be a very tough decision for anyone to make, really. I mean, uh, if you think about it like this, we're in the middle of our own pandemic, and if the only way to cure it was for someone to give give up a loved one, if they if they had some sort of immunity to it, and the only way they could get a cure was to basically end them and, and extract a certain part of their body, I don't think anyone could really go through with that. Even for the sake of humanity, you know, I can respect that. Alright, we're all locked and loaded now. So we are ready to kick some serious ass and whoa, holy crap. I don't like this big long hallway. It doesn't bode well. Like I just know it's gonna be like an ass ton of soldiers coming out from somewhere any minute now. It would be best not to rush these things. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade my axe and my crafting speed while I'm here. I don't think there's any point in waiting to upgrade anything else because I'm not gonna get enough pills. Okay, there we go. How many pills am I left with? Five. Okay. Oh, note. Marlene's journal. March 15th. We've finally crossed the Utah border. In a couple of days, we'll be back with the others. Today, the crew was in much better spirits. I've been worried about their morale since Greg and Tiana's passing last week. It's good to hear them laughing again. Robin came up to me and said, Thanks for watching over us, Marlene. It was a small gesture, but I needed it. March 23rd. Ellie never made it. We arrived at the hospital. There was much celebration, at least from the others. I guess they're happy to see their old friends. We haven't seen some of these guys in over 10 years. After they told me the news, I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk to anyone. I should be grateful just to be alive, but right now, I just want to shut my eyes for a bit. March 24th. They look at me and I know they're thinking that we're a bunch of incompetent grunts. What was I supposed to do? I thought I was going to die. My men were being hunted by the entire Boston Battalion. I had to get her out of the city. How was I supposed to know the Firefly escorts were already dead? I panicked. In the end, I healed pretty damn quickly, and my men were more capable than I gave them credit for. More than a handful survived the army's attack. I should have kept her with me. Instead, I handed her off to a couple of smugglers. I failed you, Anna. I failed all of us. I am an incompetent grunt. April 25th. I can't stand talking to any of them. I don't think I can take the stairs any longer. No way I can stay here. April 28th. 
one of our scouts just radioed in. He spotted an older man and a young girl entering the tunnel by the bus terminal. He thinks she might have had red hair, but he's not sure. What if it's her? Stop doing this, Marlene. The recon squad is about to head out. I'm going to join them. April 28th. When you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. She's alive. They're running to test on her now. I can't tell if I'm excited, scared, or just nervous. All I know is my hands won't stop shaking. Okay, so Marlene at one point thought Ellie had to straight up die. She wasn't friends with Joel. I, th I thought she was friends with Joel before. Or at least I thought he had some brief encounter uh, prior to the events of the game. Well, prior to the events of the current situation. Eh, maybe they did and I'm just not really paying enough attention. Okay, so there's a few grunts up ahead on the other side. But I don't think there's any other way around. Oh no, that's just where I came from. Okay, this is where I need to be heading. Okay. Okay, what I want to do is I want to cross, but... I can't, I can't, I can't. Hey, did you see that? No, he didn't. Okay, I guess I got a smoke bomb this. Here you go. Okay, they didn't notice. Great, fantastic. So can I just sneak around this side? Ah, uh, no, I can't. It's boarded up. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Okay, I guess we're doing more sneaky. Gotta be quiet, gotta be quiet. I mean, I'm obviously going to have to take one or two of these guys out. Ooh, holy hell. Okay, so ooh. Son of a Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jesus Christ, you have Molly, will ya? Ah, look at that, you made me waste two. I didn't mean to do that. So much for being quiet. <gasps> Come here. I'll leave him be. Oh. Okay, I'm on the home stretch now. Oh, oh, oh. Don't go out this way. Hey, I 
got this. A buddy boy over there doesn't know a damn thing. Oh well. I'm just gonna take these arrows back then. I mean, that's not my fault if they're oblivious to what's going on around them. So, there shouldn't be anyone around here now. <gasps> well, I could be wrong. I've never claimed to be right before. Out of all the times I've died in this game, that has to be the most pathetic. Okay, just gotta take these guys out. Should be easy enough. <gasps> what was that? Oh, you don't know what that was? Whoops. There you go. Ah, Jesus. That was a waste. I don't suppose I can go and collect it now. I suppose I can try. Never mind. Okay, that guy was taken out. There's only one more guy behind here, I think. Oh no, he got taken out too. Okay. Two for the price of one. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Fucking Hawkeye, man. You don't miss a trick, do you? Oh. oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 no. I don't want to die again. Okay, got a smoke bomb this again. Oh! Okay, well, that worked out. Okay. So the pediatrics, this is where I want to head. Probably not a lot of time though. Okay. There's gotta be some more supplies in here. Oh, Marlene's recorder number two. Okay, let's listen to this. Alright, it is definitely clear that Marlene is still struggling, but at the same time she's come to terms with what she has to do for the good of humanity, but it is still like an emotional boulder on her shoulders. Like It is a very weighted decision to, to make the right decision, if that makes sense. Because there's right, there's wrong. You know, we all have a moral compass. We all struggle with these things in life. 
and that's the end all and be all of it but of course Marlene has made that choice now and we are going to stop it because you know Ellie is our daughter we've come this far with her and we're definitely going to leave with her as well there's no leaving without her it's not a choice sweet Jesus <laughs> what are you doing here I'll come and get my girl you son of a bitch this is our future think of all the lives we'll save don't come any closer you've only I mean it. you've only got a scalpel Buddy, I'm only going to fire off one warning shot. And it's going to be as close to your earlobe as possible. Oh! Fucking nerves of steel. Well, there you go. Anyone else want to die? Fucking animal! Harry, shut the hell up! Oh, come on. Don't tell me I have to kill both of these people. Can't I just unhook her and take her? Oh, okay, fine. Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. <coughs> oh, shit. Okay, time to go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Shit, 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 no, 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 no. Which way, which way, which way, which way? I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose. Oh, god damn it. I'm on the right track now. can't save her even if you get her out of here then what how long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers that is if she hasn't been raped and murdered first it ain't for you to decide it's what she'd want you know it look you can still the right thing here. She won't feel anything. are still wearing off. What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. Ain't done them a damn bit of good, neither. They've stopped looking for a cure.
taking us home. Sorry. Wait! Let me go! Please. You just come after her. Like we're walking. Should be a straight shot through here. All right. Makes it kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. Right. So I think this would be the final piece of gameplay in the game well it definitely is and the final video in my playthrough series of the last of us uh, just gonna do a bit of exploring so yeah this has been one hell of an emotional roller coaster I mean uh, especially especially the end like it was nice seeing Joel come to terms with the death of his daughter and sort of just move past it at this stage and more or less accept Ellie as his stepdaughter now. This has really showed a more uh, honest and caring side of Joel and at the same time brutal as well. I don't know if you've used that term a lot but it's uh, true like he was determined to save Ellie. He didn't want to go through the same thing again when he lost his own daughter. And I don't blame him. Your head going through. Got it. So I just guess we're making our way back to Tommy's place now. I don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think uh, I think the two of you would have been would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked. Her. I know she'd have liked. You. I bet I would have. And see, Joel is more open to talking about her now. Oh, and another comic, thank you. Because when Ellie first brought her up, he snapped. Well, he snapped at, at Ellie. Like, he didn't, like, snap mentally. You know what I mean. Well, I'm really, I'm really enjoying the scenery here as well. It's very nice. Yes, there are very few games that end like this that just let you really take in the ending. I mean, it's uh, kind of bittersweet. Also, the, the whole. A little bit further now. <clears throat> the. What, what's going on? That's weird. Uh, also, the, the uh, backing music as well. It definitely really does uh, set the mood. Yeah, this is this is nice, but overall, I don't really have a lot of complaints about the game. But um, I'll save that for the credits when we actually get to them. Yeah, I got you. Give me your hand. Uh, 
Right, come on. Hey, wait. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. Well, you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And no matter what, you keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear though, to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Alright, so that's it. Uh, obviously, Ellie knew Joel was lying. You can tell it in the tone of her voice, the way she just said, Okay. Just that one single word. No, that one word, and it was filled with doubt. Because Ellie knows how attached Joel has uh, grown to, to her. She, like she is aware of, of his feelings towards her she is more or less accepting him as a father figure now and likewise um, Ellie as a daughter figure to Joel but uh yeah I think it was kind of an abrupt ending as well it didn't really set up much for um, for the sequel in fact no one ever really thought about it a sequel to be honest I mean everybody wanted a sequel which you now have but it was just something at the back of our minds we thought this was go going to be just a, a one-hit wonder from Naughty Dog but Naughty Dog like I said they're not known for one-hit wonders they've came out with with the Uncharted quadrilogy so you've had Uncharted 1, 2, 3 and 4 and I suppose if you want to include the Golden Abli the Abyss for the PSP but not the PSP, the, P the PS Vita. I haven't played that that one yet. But uh, yeah, overall, I think it was a very well put together game. Solid story, solid characters. The only uh, issue I really had was the AI. Because you had Ellie, Tess, Bill, Sam and Henry darting about the place in front of enemies. But the enemies would be just like, and I don't see nothing. Until of course um, they went in guns blazing, like in the last part, when I was sneaking through the uh, tunnel with, with Ellie, she just let off a gunshot, all hell broke loose, I ended up dying. But yet they never went for Ellie, but they did eventually, but like when you're sneaking around, they'll be completely obliv oblivious. Ellie could run right in front of them, she could probably smash a fucking hammer over their heads. Nope. They wouldn't say nothing. Ooh, dogs. Company mascots, morale boosters, and food patrol. Pogo and trumpet. Oh, that's nice. Uh, but yeah, that was my only main issue, and I suppose the um, I won't say the gun mechanics. The gun gun mechanics were fine, bar the bow and arrow. I mean, it was my favorite weapon to use, but it was kind of a love hate thing because I didn't like the whole uh, way of aiming, the whole arching line. Oh, look, there I am, Orgy. 
as my uh, actual in initial at the end. Uh, but um, <laughs> yeah, I, I like the bow, bow and arrow. It's my favorite weapon to, to use because it was uh, very, qu very quiet, allowed you to take out a lot of enemies without being detected if you knew how to use it. But other than that, other than those two things, I liked it. Characters were very relatable. They had solid backgrounds, and I think um, there was an implication that Bill was gay. So I think it was a nice bit of inclusivity without being like uh, too on, on the nose. But uh, so uh, yeah, good game, no dog. Very impressed. Can't wait to get into The Last of Us Part 2, which I will be doing right after this once I've put the files together for editing. So I'm just going to wait and see if there's any other cutscenes, if there's um, any bonus ending, something like that. Right, so I got a trophy. Oh, I got two trophies. Because I started it off on normal and... No, no ending scene, but there is a knife. There uh, on the windowsill. Just slotted right in there. I'm not sure what that means. I'm not sure what it's supposed to symbolize. If anything. Uh, but yeah it's a nice little thing to include. I suppose it just signifies that you've passed the game at least once. And you've saved Ellie. Well saving Ellie was going to be the main thing anyway. But uh, yeah. Very nice, and of course, like the one thing that I did appreciate about the main menu was its uh, simplicity. But yeah, it's it's uh, very minimalistic. That's why I like it. But I couldn't think of that word, minimalistic. But uh, yeah, that is enough talking. I want to get into the Last of Us Part Two now, and like I said, put these files together so I can at least um, have them ready for editing. So, guys, you know what to do if you did enjoy this video, if you did enjoy this series, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Comment, favorite, share with your friends, and of course, subscribe if you want to. And I will see you in the next one. So, until next time, see ya.